Hi, Bob Hot Rod Roar from Cleffy. Um, balancing valves is what we're going to talk about next. Now, there's a lot of balancing valves on the market. There's manual balancing valves, there's pressure independent balancing valves, um, pressure differential balancing valves. But today, we're going to talk about a manual balancing valve that Cleffy offers that's called the Quick Setter. It's a very unique, it's a patented valve. Um, it's got some features that you won't find anywhere else on the market. I'm going to show you a couple different versions of this. We offer this valve in from half inch to two inch pipe size. Threaded pipe size, it's a brass valve. Um, unique features that I'm going to show you with a little cutaway here inside. A balancing valve is used in the system to uh, regulate the flow going to a heat emitter so that um, it's important that you get just the right amount of flow going to a heat uh, emitter so you're not over pumping it. It could be used to uh, set the flow rate to a boiler, to a solar arrays. Um, you got to make sure you get your flow rate right so you're not using too much pumping power that you're getting enough flow going through it to cover the job. So this is kind of an underutilized valve I feel and we're going to sell you a lot of these. You're going to like this when you see what we've got going on inside here. So this is what it looks like when you take it out. And again, remember these come in every one of our boxes and there's a reason for that. Please read the directions because you'll learn a lot about this valve in just a couple minutes reading through that. But this is what it looks like and this is how it works. So. This is our smallest version. This is our half inch, goes from half, uh, half inch pipe size, goes from a half GPM all the way up to 1.75 GPM. So you put this in the system. Now remember, there's a flow arrow on it, if you can see that. So the flow has to go through the valve in that direction. Now it can be mounted in different orientations. It can be mounted this way. It can be mounted, it can be mounted completely upside down. It can be mounted so you can see it from down below. Uh, so on a solar array, you would want to protect it from the sunlight because this isn't a UV plastic on it. If you're going to use it on a solar array, protect it from freezing, but also maybe keep it up behind the collector where it's protected from the sunlight a little bit. Let me show you how to drive this baby. So what you'll do is you pipe it in there, you start up your pump, and then this little red arrow on the front is movable. So take your fingernail and just move it to the flow rate that you need in your system. Let's say we're going to set this one at 1.5 GPM is what the circuit needs. Just slide it to that. And now what happens is when you pull this ring, it's going to divert the flow through there and you're going to see a little ball in there that floats up there. And I'm going to show you that in the cutaway. I can explain that a little bit better. Jump it inside here, this is what a cutaway looks like. So now the fluid's going through the center of this valve and when you pull that little pin out, it diverts a bit of the flow up through there and it moves a little piston in the chamber right here, up and down. And notice what happens when I move that uh, piston up and down, it's sliding a little ball in the window there. Well what happens is this um, little piston has a magnet on it and that ball is a steel ball. So as the piston moves up and down, it moves the ball in the window with the magnet. What's important about that is the fluid never goes through the window here, so this window is never going to get dirty. If you want to come back years later and you have to make an adjustment, you've got to tweak the system. You pull the ring, the piston moves up and down again, it moves the ball with it. You change your uh, setting with your fingernail on the arrow where you want to move to. Then you put a wrench up here on this little stem here, and that's where you adjust the flow rate until you get the ball right lined up with the red arrow, and then you're set and ready to go. Inside, of course, you can see the fine quality uh, machine work in there. It's a great little valve. It's got a lot of different applications. Um, the quick setter from Cleffy.